Don't forget to weigh in on what you think our big story should be tomorrow morning. Be sure to join our morning meeting live through Facebook at 10 a.m. and vote on which story you want us to cover. Thanks for waking up with us and hanging out with us. We're here in the newsroom here at Broadcast House, WXYZ, WMYD. And each Wednesday, we like to kind of touch base with you and see what you think the big story of the day should be. The story that we want to put extra resources on, do a deep dive, just see what's happening on these particular topics. Really dive in there. And so we're going to jump into the morning meetings. Hey, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Charlie, everybody. Take it over. <laughs> so our three big story options today, number one, Halloween. Of course, today it's a, a big deal. You can tell we're very excited. Uh, number two, a push for votes. Of course, we only got a couple more days until the election. So that's just around the corner, and then finally with marijuana yesterday that we learned uh, that a judge granted a temporary restraining order to stop a plan that would shut down unlicensed medical marijuana businesses across the state. Excellent. So we're looking at Halloween, a push for votes, and the marijuana issue as the big right. three. Well, the big story, Halloween in the D, trick-or-treating, trunk-or-treating, there's plenty of it going on tonight. And all of Metro Detroit's little superheroes and princesses are ready to fill up those pumpkin pails and pillowcases full of candy. Often eating one little candy leads to many, many more. And believe it or not, there's actually a scientific reason why we can't stop eating Halloween candy. But before we get to that, we want to know, what's your favorite candy? Choose from one of those up there and vote right now on our website, WXYZ.com.